You know, a lot of the stress that we might experience as business owners and, you know, as professionals is that we think we should be farther along than we currently are. What if you drop that expectation? Let it go. What if where you are right now is just where you need to be? Now, I know that it's not where you want to be. It's not where you look at other people and say, well, why can't, why do they have that? And I don't, you know, I, I'm not any, uh, they're not any smarter than me, or, you know, I, I've been at it longer than they have or whatever it is. The stress, the disappointment comes from your own expectations of what it's supposed to be. In other words, your expectations are not matching reality and that gap between expectations and reality is something you need to look at and say, what do I do with that gap? You can either go in the negative direction and be disappointed, be anxious, be frustrated, complain. That's basically the negative response to that gap between expectation and reality. Or you could go from the positive point of view and say, oh, there's a gap here. Can I align the two, okay, can I bring the gap together and say that somehow where I am right now is where I need to be learning whatever skills I need right now to go forward to the next level? Because here's the thing, whatever stage you think you need to be at, if you had the skills to be at that stage, you probably would have been there already. I should say, if you had the skills Okay, all and whatever time you needed to practice those skills, you would have been there already. You think you should be a, you know, a great writer. Well, gosh, if you had had those skills for the last year, two, five years, you would be a great writer today. But you don't have the, you didn't have those skills, or you didn't have the discipline. You see, it's either you don't have the skills, or you don't have the discipline, and that's where you are right now. You don't have the boundaries. So that's what you need to learn right now. So where you are right now is actually where you need to be. Let's sit with that and think about this. So the way I apply it to my business is my numbers in my business are perfect right now. You think you were going to enroll, you know, 30 people into that program. You enrolled five. I don't know what, what the numbers are. Guess what? The five was perfect. You thought you were going to enroll 20 people or 10 people. You enrolled zero. The zero was perfect because your understanding of your market is not developed enough to get 20 enrollments or 50 enrollments or whatever. You see what I mean? It, 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 there's no one to blame. You're, you don't have to blame reality. You don't have to blame yourself. It's just the reality is that your skills aren't there yet. Your understanding isn't there yet. Your discipline, your ability to create boundaries isn't there yet. That's okay. Because where you need to be is where you need to grow from. Otherwise, how can you skip growth? How can you go from, you know, being a white belt? Let's say you're, we're using martial arts analogy. Let's say you're a white belt right now. You've got some basic skills on how to do some punches without hurting yourself. And you're like, God, I, I, I've been practicing white belt now for 10 years. I should be black belt by now. Okay. And you're looking at the black belts and, you know, this black belt person has only been at it for five years and they're black belt already. And they're doing all these fancy moves and they're, you know, sparring and being able to take other people down, whatever, you know, the, the martial artists do. I should be there by now. I've been this for 10 years. They've been at it for five years. Look at them. But, but look at what you've been doing for the last 10 years. Have you been practicing the right moves? Have you been coming to class? Have you been disciplining your practice? And by the way, do you have the genetics, right? Do you have the genetics that that person does? Probably not. That person may have been born better at martial arts and now they're farther along. You see, let's apply this to your business. You know, maybe I was born better at spreadsheets than you are, right? For tracking purposes. Maybe, uh, maybe someone else was born better at you know, communicating and writing. Someone else was born better at setting boundaries than you. 
it, there's no one to blame. It's just genetics. It's just, ah, somehow you were given this equipment in life and you have your own lessons to learn and your path is just as important as anybody else's path. In fact, to you, your path is more important. Your path of taking whatever genetics you have, whatever upbringing you happen to have, for some reason, your soul came in here with all those factors to learn certain lessons. And so now you're here and you have a certain desire. You have a certain expectation that you want that kind of life, that kind of business. Well, then fine. You need to practice certain things. You need to get good at them. And before you get good at them, you'll be where you are. And then once you get better at them, you'll be there. That's it. And you need, of course, once you develop some skills, you need time of developing an audience and that takes time too. So everything, there's no one to blame. There's nothing to blame. It's just time and it's just appreciation of what you have to work with. So, you're, so however, however many clients you have right now, it is the perfect number of clients. However many people are following your social media right now, it's the perfect number of people. For your level of skill, how much time you've spent at a certain skill level, your genetics, it's perfect right now. And yes, you want more. And yes, let's practice more. Let's practice better. Let's practice better discipline, better communication, better authenticity, better service. Let's practice these things and then give it the time to grow to where it needs to be. That's it. There is no need for anxiety or frustration or why am I not farther along? Or why is that person farther along? There's no need for any of it because everyone is exactly where they need to be, including you. So I hope this is helpful. <laughs> I, I see this a lot in, um, in, you know, in my own clients as well. And this is partly a message for my own clients to just appreciate. Let's start with appreciation. There's kind of these two moves, okay, that we, we are making, basic two moves, appreciating and then stretching, appreciating where we are given our skills, how much time we've practiced certain skills and our genetics and uh, the market environment, uh, the whatever, appreciating that that's where we are. Okay, got it. All right. Now that's where we want to go. Great. That means we stretch. We stretch every day, not, to, not so much to hurt ourselves, but we stretch a little bit every day and then we get better at our skills. And what, what, are, we, what, are, we, what are we basically called to do? We're basically as authentic businesses, we are called to humbly do the following, to consistently create content, to keep exploring our voice and honing our ideas. We are called to keep connecting with the individuals that we think we can help, especially those who start resonating with our content once we create and dis distribute that, okay? Can keep connecting with people that we think we can help. We are called to humbly, consistently, and lightly launch our offerings. That's why you see me launching a new course every month. I'm following what I'm asking and recommending you to do, to consistently and lightly launch offerings so that we can test the market and say, okay, I've got this idea that I think is really cool, but I don't know if I'm in my own head. I often am, and so are you. You're often in your own head. You're often not in touch with the market. You're passionate about something. You think intuition and guidance is giving you something. It's in your head. Intuition and guidance may not have given that to your market. So you need to test that in the real third dimensional world to say, I've got this guidance, intuition, ideas, passion. Is this matching the reality of where we are right now with, with what, where you are at right now, meeting people where they're at? We need to consistently and lightly launch our offerings without attachment to what the results are. Because guess what? Like I said, Whatever the results happen are perfect is what we need at this time. So to consistently and lightly launch our offerings, it's a part we, we're, we're, we're called to consistently explore that magical intersection between our passion and the market's wants. It's a constant exploration. I'm constantly exploring with you. Some of you didn't uh, decide to take my time management course this month. That's okay. That's perfect. I'm testing that too. So, hey, I, I'm passionate about... I've been passionate for a long time about time management. Let me teach that, see if people are interested in it. Oh, okay, not, not that many people are interested. 
I'm actually kind of surprised. I, I did get a, thankfully I got, you know, 50 some people enrolled in it. So that's, that's grateful besides master heart members. So, uh, you know, by, by this point at the stage where I'm at, that's, that's perfect, but it wasn't a hundred enrollments or it wasn't 200 enrollments. I guess y'all aren't that interested in time management. That's okay. Or learning it from me or whatever the reason is you didn't feel like it was worth the price, but that's okay. That's perfect because I learned from that too. See, we are always exploring some, a lot more of you are interested in Facebook ads, a lot more of you are buying that. Great. Okay. Well, that's the market's wants intersecting with my passion and my skills. Great. But you need to do the same with your market. You need to constantly test. Hey, what about this? Hey, what about that? Okay. We're also constantly called, we're, we're called to humbly and continually seek feedback for our content and our offerings. And by seeking feedback, I can simply observe. Okay, which of my videos are people most resonating with? Well, isn't that interesting? I didn't realize that, that they'd be more interested in that. And how come this one nobody really cared that much about? It's okay. It's perfect. I was passionate about this. I was somewhat passionate about that. People are more interested in that. Great. Let me find more of my passion there if I want more of a market response. That's all. That's all that is. It's just calmly looking at, okay, what's working? And let's go more in that direction if we want more of a market response, meaning if we want more engagement, if we want more sales, if we want more clients, we can go in that direction. If we care more about the passion right now, then go more in the passion direction. That's okay too. Sometimes the passion happens to match, sometimes it doesn't, and we're leading the market. We're educating the market about something in the, in the future. So we're always, we're always testing, we're always experimenting, and we're always appreciating where we are. We're stretching with our experimentations we're stretching to meet people where they are so we can really serve them. Otherwise, we can't serve them if we don't meet them where they are, right? I hope this is helpful. I'll give you um, a chance to comment below while I look at the, uh, the comments from the live video of people here. So go ahead and comment below. All right, I wanna thank those of you for joining me. Jan, Laura, May, Shweta, Suzanne. Uh, I see comments here from, uh, let's see here, Shweta wrote, <laughs> yeah. Um, she says, oh yes, Ayurvedically, your, your Pitta, Pitta is an Ayurvedic term, Pitta dominant mind body blueprint makes spreadsheets more natural too. <laughs> yes. Yeah, Suzanne, thank you for your comment there. And, um, Yes, uh, Shweta says, just because people don't respond doesn't mean it's not an important message. States of consciousness, states of consciousness may differ or you know, timing, et cetera, yes. Um, and Laura says, creative types, many times we're using our, our imagination, idealism and in our heads rather than the real third dimension reality of what people want to buy. You know, and, and sometimes we're lucky and it's the same thing, you know, but Oftentimes, we are ahead of our time. That's why we end up having to use content to educate our audience that this is a really a good thing. And then eventually they come around to seeing that too and saying, oh, I get it now. Thank you for educating me after, with these months of content. And now when you, make, when you make this offering the fourth or fifth time, I finally understand. And now I'm ready to say yes to it. So keep on appreciating and keep on stretching and just keep doing this, this left, right walk. That's how we move forward. All right. I hope you're well and um, remember where you are right now is perfect and there's infinite possibilities. So let's continue to move forward while appreciating where we are. All right. Take care. Have a great day.